Hello there, I'm Brian LaRosa, and welcome to LaRosa's Trains. In late December 2012, almost exactly 10 years ago, I did a video of my first Lionel O gauge train set, the Polar Express. And because it's always a fan favorite, my re review is by far the most watched video on my YouTube channel with nearly 200,000 views. So I truly appreciate your watching activity. However, I just realize there is one thing that, that doesn't sound right. It's from the, the tender, which has an air whistle inside. For those of you who have seen my 10 year old video, you might have noticed that the whistle was rather out of tune. Now, I'm sure some people who own the original conventional Polar Express set have a more properly tuned tender than mine. Perhaps I must have ended up with a defective one, so I was no longer happy with it. Another problem I had was a bit more serious, because it all started in 2015 when I set up the MTH Digital Command System, or DCS. Normally, the Polar Express engine is in intended to run conventionally with a traditional transformer, but I wanted to operate it with the DCS system since it has the capability to run conventional engines like this. While the locomotive uh, did run fairly well through that system, what really bothered me was that the tender's air whistle was sounding constantly every time I start running the train, so it cannot stop whining for whatever reason until I cut the track power and put the train to a halt. When I first ran the Polar Express set, I did indeed use its included transformer, and the whistle should only turn on whenever I press the whistle button on it. That feature should have been controlled properly by the whistle button on my DCS remote, but this never happened. To remedy this issue, I decided to disconnect the air whistle by taking the shell off the tender and desoldering the wires that were hooked to the mechanism. Then as I tested both the engine and tender, it w was running more quietly because the whistle is not powered anymore, so no more of that unnecessary noise. However, I wanted something to make the Polar Express more fun instead of just uh, running it silently. In fact, Lionel used to offer a special tender that featured digital sounds and was designed to replace the air whistle tender that was included in a lot of conventional sets like mine. It features a system called Train Sounds, which is basically a transformer controlled version of rail sounds used uh, primarily for legacy equipped engines. Since Lionel introduced uh, the Lion Chief version of the Polar Express uh, set in 2013 or so, the train sounds tender is no longer in production, but is not very hard to find uh, as of this video you're watching. Fortunately, I found my own tender in mint condition on eBay, and it does come in its original box, which you'll see in, in a couple minutes. Alright, so this is uh, the box uh, where my tender is. And like I said, I've ordered this on, on eBay. Now, the, the, this item uh, came from uh, a seller um, who lives in uh, Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Now, in case you're curious, um, I, I don't think uh, the seller is a, is a hobby dealer, but, but who wants to know? So, let's start with... Let's start unboxing it. And the top. Oh, almost. First up, we got some uh, 
packing paper. And unless I see them there there should be no there should be none of those pesky uh, packing peanuts. I know everybody hates them. This should be the, the box where the tender is located. So I'm going to place this outer box aside. Lionel presents the Polar Express Steam Train Sounds Tender. So let's look at, uh, at some of the sides. Um, same thing. You can see that this colorful ticket that says uh, the same exact thing. And nothing different so and here are the list of features train sounds a sound system with steam chuffing steam whistle bell squealing brakes and operator controlled uh, multi-part crew dialogue this uh, item is intended for conventional transformer control and there's an operating coupler on rear of the tender now, let's open this box and, and get the this tender out. And while I'm still at the outer box, uh, notice it says Barry's Train Shop. So I don't know if, it, if the seller is actually Barry's Train Shop, or perhaps uh, that seller bought it from from that hobby store. But decided to sell this item. But never mind. So, so yeah, yeah, it does look, um, Pretty identical to the uh, to the original air whistle um, tender that I that came with my engine, but this tender it has the but of course uh, the inside is completely different. Now uh, I'll get to more technical details uh, later in this video, but but one may a couple major differences you can see the uh, the sounds on off switch and the and this master volume control for that system so so yeah, I'm, re I'm real excited for to uh, operate this tender and there you have it uh, the unboxing segment for Polar Express train sounds tender I started testing my new train sounds tender connected to the engine by using the DCS remote to see if it sounds better. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a similar problem to the air whistle tender because the digital whistle could not stop sounding until I cut the power off. Here's what happens when I power up this loop of track. So uh, I got 10 volts uh, set up on my DCS remote. so. Here's what happens. Well, um, as you 
as you've heard, a, you, it uh, produces a weird uh, electronic uh, sound. So, I don't think the, the Polar Express locomotive is intended to be operated with the, the DCS system, but I knew that there must be another way to run this thing. We're back at the power and control area of my layout. Up until this year, I always had the fixed voltage channel of the MTH track interface unit, TIU, connected to the outer loop of track for command control and the variable voltage channel to the inner loop for conventional operation. I recently decided to run the Polar Express directly with the Lionel CW80 transformer just like the years before I installed my DCS system. The problem was that the wires connected to the inner loops uh, terminal section were, were too short to reach uh, this transformer. As a result, I was forced uh, to set up the outer loop for the first time ever in conventional operation and, and I have two reasons. First of all, this uh, wooden uh, guard wall system uh, that I built uh, two years ago, it's, um, it makes it harder for the, um, for the wires to, to reach uh, over that transformer. And second of all, I prefer to keep the, the transformers uh, on, the, on the lower table at all times. So, I disconnected the, the red and black output wires from the TIU, then reconnected them to the track terminals behind the CW80. Finally, when I power up, up the transformer and started operating the train, the digital tender behaved much better and should respond more properly whenever I press the whistle button. Let's take a closer look at each version of the Polar Express tender with respect to their undersides. The original one simply has a hole for the air whistle to blow through, whereas the other one has a speaker for the digital sound system. The only two controls you can see are the sounds on off switch and the master volume control knob. All right, we're ready to start up the engine, now refitted with the train sounds tender. I'll demonstrate the whistle, bell, and the crew talk sounds, and then I'll give the train a spin around my layout. Now, it should be noted that the crew dialogue will play after I release the whistle button while the tender is not moving. Specifically, according to the instructions manual that I read online, you'll hear the standby scenario within approximately 35 seconds the clear for departure scenario after that amount of time and some random dialogue after 60 seconds. I don't know if I'll capture all of the crew talk sounds for this video but we'll see if it works. So let's fire up the engine. Now let's listen to the whistle and the first crew talk sound. So here it goes. Dispatch, we are staying by for track orders over. Uh, engineer, you are cleared outbound over. Thanks for that dispatch. Uh, we are cleared outbound. Out. Here's the second one.
And last but not least, here's the bell. Pretty cool. Okay, we're ready to run the Polar Express train with the new tender. This is the York Master. You may proceed outbound. Over. Uh, copy that, Guard Master. We are ready to roll. Out. Alright, uh, that about wraps up for this video. This is a very, very cool tender, and even better than the air whistle one. Now, I still wish uh, that this tender could work properly with a digital remote, like the one for my DCS system. Maybe the, the Lionel Powermaster device, if connected to the legacy system, can run this thing uh, without any problems. So, it would be more convenient if I run this uh, with the legacy system. Of course, I don't have a legacy at this time, so I have to keep using the old school transformer to run the train sounds tender. But anyway, it's still a very nice sounding tender. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian LaRosa, and I'll see you next time.